Hey guys, this is Mike and you're watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Monday, November 12th, 2018. And today I am in Cambria County, Pennsylvania. I'm on my way back from a steelhead trip up in Erie. And while I was coming through here, I thought, you know what? There's a Keystone Select stream that I haven't fished here. And uh, I figured I'd continue my Keystone Select fishing series here on Wooly Bug today by fishing Chest Creek. Uh, Chess Creek is about a 40 mile long tributary of the west branch of the Susquehanna River. Uh, like I mentioned, it flows through Cambria County and then also Clearfield County, Pennsylvania. And it gets the big Keystone Select fish in the spring. And then it also gets stocked in the fall months. Uh, specifically here this year, it got stocked back in October. Uh, I believe it was on October 3rd. So there's got to be some fish in here. Uh, I'm sure there's some really nice holdovers hiding somewhere. Um, when I was up in Erie, we had some snow on uh, Saturday evening. Uh, in fact, they got almost three or four inches of snow up there in Erie. And they got a little bit of dusting here, but there's a lot of uh, precipitation that's running off the mountains here. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's a beautiful kind of cloudy green color here in Chess Creek. Uh, I don't know if it's like that year round, but there's definitely, I think, some precipitation coming off the mountains here that are getting into the water. And I think that this, this flow is probably a little bit higher than average. I can't say that for sure, but that would just be my guess. Um, so I'm gonna start here at the bridge where the upper portion of the Keystone Select water start. And I'm gonna go upstream uh, as far as I can here as daylight allows. Uh, I have the afternoon, they're not calling for any rain. Uh, the temps are in the low 40s today, and the water temps are actually in the mid 40s, upper 40s today. So it's pretty cold. Uh, you know, we're getting towards winter. It's coming quick. And um, I'm excited to get out, see if we can catch some stockers here. And maybe if we get lucky, we'll get into uh, one of those big Keystone Select fish. So uh, let's go check out Chess Creek, guys, and I'll show you what I'm using. Okay guys, I got my Hatch 3 Plus out here today on my Scott 9 foot 5 weight and for a dropper I'm using my standard pink green dot squirmy pattern with the green iridescent bead. That's like my go-to for stocked fish, at least as a dropper. I have that tied on with 5X tippet that I bought at Walmart. It's a Cortland 5X tippet. And then I'm using a split shot to break that um, below my standard gold ribbed hair's ear. It's a standard tan hairs here. I like to use that on the top when starting out for stock fish. That's tied on to a 12 foot 5X leader. And uh, I have a lightning strike indicator up there. We're gonna start down here at this first hole where I would guess the state would start stocking these fish. And there's just a beautiful stretch here right at the first bridge. And you go upstream, I believe it goes into game lands. I'm not sure, I thought I saw a game land sign over there on the left of the stream, but let's see what we can do on Chess Creek, guys. Should be interesting. That was quick, guys. Wow. Well guys, that happened fast. This is my first Chess Creek trout. It's actually a brown trout. I was expecting a rainbow, but I got a brownie. So took the squirmy and uh, let's see what else we can get out here. Ooh, that's a good one, guys. Well, I should say better. Not a bad looking bow. How's that for a beautiful Keystone Select rainbow, guys? Took the pink squirmy on the drift. Just a uh, real beauty there here in Chess Creek. It's 
Sometimes they go the wrong way. Ooh, there's one. Nice. He just picked that up off the bottom subtly. I wasn't expecting that. Guys, that's a nice uh, stocked brook trout that just picked up my pink squirmy. Uh, kind of surprised it was a brook trout and surprised on the take too, but nice stocked fish. Guys, so I hooked up with a rainbow on the squirmy and uh, gave me a little fight out here in the current. But uh, another beautiful fish here on Chess Creek.
Well guys, I guess there are still some fat Keystone Select trout in here. That's a pretty solid rainbow. Beautiful fish. Um, I don't know if he came in here on the fall stocking or if he was here since the spring, but put up a great fight. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Seems like things kind of turned on here just before dark. Guys, there's a second really nice bow out of this hole. Look how long this thing is. It's probably another Keystone Select stalker here. Okay guys, I'm calling it a wrap here on Chess Creek and Wooly Bugged. It's been a uh, fun afternoon. I feel like I was just getting the hang of this creek and starting to figure out where the fish were and there's a lot of water to fish here yet. So Wooly Bug's gonna have to make a Chess Creek part two at some point. Um, this is a beautiful body of water, you know. Once you get up here in the woods, man, there is a lot of, uh, a lot of great water. Um, fish could be almost anywhere in here it's amazing this is a perfect body of water for the keystone select stockings with the bigger fish because boy i'll tell you if if these flows maintain through the year these fish definitely uh have plenty of places to hide um so fortunately i found some fish there in the afternoon and i just ran out of daylight so it was fun i appreciate you guys watching woolly bug and uh, if you're not subscribed, click subscribe and uh, catch up on my newest videos when they come out. So guys, thanks for watching uh, the channel and I'll catch up with you next time.